Hi, this is Derek from MyOC website. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up Easy Engine on a Digital Ocean droplet and how you can install multiple WordPress sites on that droplet using Easy Engine. This is going back to one of my previous videos where I showed you how to set up Digital Ocean and, and Server Pilot to host your multiple WordPress uh, installations. Now, this is a very similar um, way to do the same, to have the same thing done on your DigitalOcean uh, droplet, but using Easy Engine. Now, here's the Easy Engine website here. Um, we're going to run these commands in our terminal screen shortly, and we're going to go through the commands and get Easy Engine set up on our droplet. Now, before we do that, let me just uh, switch over to Ocean. Firstly, let's have a look at Digital Ocean's control panel, just to show you how once you've got your Digital Ocean uh, account open, how you go ahead and, and create your droplet. Now, there's a link below in the description. If you use my affiliate link and sign up for a Digital Ocean account, if you don't already have one, this will automatically give you a $10 credit for you to use and set up your first droplet with DigitalOcean. So as you can see here, it's very uh, self-explanatory control panel. Now for Easy Engine to work, we need to have, or we need to use a Ubuntu server distribution. So we're just going to select the distribution here. I'm not going to go through it now because I've already got my, my uh, droplet uh, set up for this, uh, for this tutorial. So you would select Ubuntu here and because you've got a $10 credit you can either select the smallest VPS which is $5 a month and for that you get 512 meg one CPU 20 gig of disk uh, space and a terabyte of transfer or you can go for a, a bigger droplet and use your full $10 credit and have a one gig CPU with 30 gig space and, and a two terabyte transfer up to you whichever one you decide to go for um, and then we want to select the data center region that is closest to where you are. In my case, I could select either Amsterdam, Amsterdam, London or Frankfurt as I'm in Spain at the moment. Um, so those are going to be my three nearest uh, data, data centers. I'll select one of those. Any additional options like private networking, backups, IPv6, use data, you won't need any of that for this example. Um, and if you have any, uh, if you do set up here in SSH keys, you can include those as well, which means you won't need to require a password to actually log in to your droplet once it's completed. Then here you can type in the host name for your droplet and then click on create. And within 30 seconds, you will have your VPS ready to go. So let's go back to the Easy Engine website. Uh, I'm just going to pull over my terminal screen now so that you can see it and see if I can uh, get it blown up big enough. That's going to be good for you guys to see. So I'm going to bring my terminal window over so we can see it here. So this is my VPS droplet that I've made for this example. I'm already logged in and this must be a freshly and newly installed VPS. You shouldn't have uh, installed LAMP or, or any other um, tools on this on this VPS for this to work uh, successfully. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut and paste the first command that we need to enter into our into our VPS, um, and let's put that here. But hopefully the text is big enough that you guys can see. It might be too big actually, so I apologise for that. And that's going to go off and it's going to run an app get update and it's going to go off and get, it, get all of the files it needs to run this script successfully and then we'll come back to that once it's finished. Okay, at this point it's uh, finished installing Easy Engine. Now it just needs some information from you. So here it wants to ask for your name so I can put my name in here and my email address. I'll put the website come and it continues doing the install. Uh, 
Okay, so that install has now completed. As you can see here, it's given us the WordPress admin username and the password. And we have the URL easyengine.myocwebsite.com. If we go over, you can see here, this is the website installed. And if we can log in now as well. Um, oops, let's try and type correctly. So you can see it's a basic WordPress install with the basic pages and posts um, as you would normally get from a standard install. And there you have it. That is how you install Easy Engine on your DigitalOcean droplet. Remember, link in the description, $10 credit can give you um, two months, at least two months free usage of this and you can try it out and you know test, all, test out all the different um, configuration commands. If I go back over to the Easy Engine website, you can see here there is a Easy Engine community as well that uh, if you get stuck, there's a nice forum on there. As I showed earlier, you've got all of the install commands you need to install Easy Engine and then to go ahead and create your WordPress or PHP standard HTML uh, websites. That's the end of this uh, quick tutorial. I will see you again soon.